Can we start, y'all? Welcome to my channel. I'm that fantastic guy, a Filipino redneck sharing every day. Hey, friend, can you come pick up your mess? Eclectic. I'll be right there. Stay tuned. Shh. <laughs> excited yet fearful a new life entering this world then I thought about my life so far it was good but I felt something was missing I was born to a single mother who was encouraged by her family to abort and not have me she met my stepdad and we moved to the States growing up I did okay I thought I was an altar boy in our church in Southern California good enough right when my dad retired from the Navy, we moved to the South. I hardly attended church. I was a good kid, not getting into too much trouble. There were a few times when I came close to death, a near drowning in California, and a motorcycle wreck in my teens. But those events did not make me think nor fear about my death or my life. Back to 30 years ago, I had questions. Was this all I have to live for? What am I doing here? What is my purpose? When I die, what's next? Is there a next? Is that it? The end? I was afraid. I didn't want to die and that be it. For a couple of weeks afterwards, I questioned my existence, my life and purpose. Every morning, Every morning, without the alarm clock set, I woke up at 316. May not be right at 316, but when I woke and glanced at the clock, it read 316. I thought to myself, what is going on? Near the end of the second week, my mother-in-law invited us to a church she was visiting with friends. I was hesitant. However, agreed to go. It had been years since I stepped foot in the church. We went and heard a message delivered by a good pastor. It was a Bible story that I heard growing up in my past churches. As he finished, he asked if I knew Jesus. I thought to myself, sure. He was born as a baby for Christmas and died during Easter. At the end of his sermon, he shared the gospel message. He shared John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For the first time that message was made clear to me. John 3, 16. John 3, 16. I got the message. I realized my predicament and situation and how I was separated from God by my sins. There was only one way to a relationship with my Creator. I pray to receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. The void I felt in my life was filled. My life is not perfect. However, I know God has a plan for my life, and I have not completed the work He began in me yet. I encourage you to seek and have a relationship with Him. Thanks for watching.